So before we start, like this video, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there's another you know another race baiting uh, play happening right now. And I'm sure you guys are all, you guys have heard it by now. It's probably in your Facebook feed, so you just can't avoid it. It's it's right there. You know, it's that new uh, Romeo and Juliet play starting uh, Tom Holland and some unknown actress who uh, got in there because she's a really good actor. <laughs> I was proud for that one. No, no, no. Uh, DEI. Oh, uh, yeah, DEI. You know what? If you don't, if you're gonna argue with me that maybe it wasn't DEI, don't blame me. Blame DEI. DEI made me think like this because you use DEI. This was what happened. Okay, we're gonna dive into it. Okay, so yeah. Once again, like the video. Okay, uh, comment down, uh, subscribe. Thank you. Let's do this. All right. So guys, uh, they're basically talking about this. Uh, Continuing with this thing about uh, what's going on with the so-called new uh, Romeo and Juliet play that's got so much traction, well, or detraction. It's basically featuring this this actor, uh, this this actress. Maybe probably can't be calling her that no more. Look, uh, here it is. Okay, it says Black Romeo and Juliet star backed by eight hundred actors condemning racist and misogynistic abuse. <laughs> Okay, look, let me, let's me let just get one thing straight, okay? We don't give a rat's ass about actors, okay? Like, it's time. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. If you're, the kind of, like, if you're the kind of person that for some reason takes into any kind of consideration on what an actor feels or says, you, you got to be an idiot. You, you, we have to wake you up. You're an idiot. You know what I mean? God, let me clear my throat. <clears throat> yeah, you're an idiot. Because... I don't understand. Like, like the actors, you don't know who they are. What do you know about them? They make movies. You, you know, <laughs> and and for some, and so if you're gonna take into if you if you're basing your decision because some actor says it, okay, they they have to say it. It, it is their job. They they want to work. They still want to work in this town. The actors are slaves. Okay, to literally to the contract and ultimately to us. They're not about court jesters, so we don't care. But but uh, anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm not here to bash some actors or whatever. Because really, I don't I don't envy them. I really don't because I really don't care. But people who fall hardly for like, people who fall like who who listen to celebrity like really you always be disappointed. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, you you, you gotta be a fool uh, to do that. And and here's the thing about uh, uh the so called Romeo and Juliet. There, I mean, right off the back that. Uh, I mean, he's a, he's a nice man. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> okay, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Uh, look, I, I, so I'm going to I, I, I'm going to first by saying this is a obviously this is not a secret. Okay, this is this is a race baiting movie. It's nothing. This is a race baiting movie, but the way that the, the, the media is going about it, like going about it, they make him seem like some. Uh, uh, so white people are, you know, it, 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 that's a lie. Okay, every time there's an interracial couple, it's not just white people that get annoyed by it, annoyed by it, but actually surprisingly, okay, the, the, the black community, the people there, the blacks also get annoyed, okay? They especially get annoyed when it's like a, an attractive black woman with a white guy. That's no hiding it. They are. If they tell you they're not, they're lying. They're lying, okay? The same with the women too. The women also, when they see a white guy with a, when they see, when they see a black man with a white woman, especially in movies, they don't, they don't care. And, and that's the reason why Hollywood is actually quite, quite uh, uh, well off, you know. That's why they always, always, most, in the majority, in the majority of their movies, okay, the, 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 the interracial relationship between a black woman, um, between a black and a white person, always, all the time, it's a white guy and it's a black woman. Because they're trying to appease to the black, you know, the, <laughs> the, the, the the black women because they like that stuff. A, a small, a small of them, a, 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 like, no, see, that's what they're actively going for, but they like seeing it. So it's easier to to make them happy. You know what I mean? In a sense, right? But And really, the hell with the blacks anyway, the, the black men. But I just, the point of this is to let you know that it's not just a, 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 a white state, but trust me. 
the, the blacks are in up in arms about this one too. But see, the, the point I'm trying to make is that we, we have to like literally address what is going on here, okay? This is a race baiting, okay, in which we have to see it for what it really is. Okay, they, they did this on purpose. They did this to get people upset. Whatever. What bugs me is the fact that they always use blacks for this, okay? We didn't ask for this. I'm pretty sure no black person sat there and said, guys, you know what really wicked? Yeah, let's let's have some uh, some black let's have some black man um, uh, black woman who and, and who plays uh, Juliet right and and let's let's have that happen. No one's no one asked for it. Same with the little memory, the little uh, memory that that one that you know tanked, which rightfully so it should have because it was the most irritating, most most uh, potential thing ever seen. And you, do people to blame for this? It's no secret. It's it's. You gotta blame the white liberals for this. This is all the white liberals' fault. The, the white liberal is the most racist person in the world. Okay, they, they love to stoke the flames of hate. They do it all the time. You see them. This is just what they're doing. You think you, you think they care about all this? They don't care. They don't give a rat's ass about this. They, they're enjoying this. They stir the flame and they put and, and then get this. This is the best part. It's, it's almost genius if you didn't hate them so much. The, the person who directed it, suppose this, this guy called Jamie Lloyd, okay? And, and you know, the funny thing is he, he, he's coming in defense of this, right? He's defending this because now it's, it's a win-win situation for him, right? He comes in defending, and now guess what? He's not, <laughs> he's a hero. Even though he orchestrated this, he baited this. He, he took this, and now he's going to come out of here because he was in defense of it. But when you actually look at it from, like, the core of it, this is what they wanted. This is a form of separation. It's a form of division. Like these guys know what they're doing, trying to trigger a bunch of. They're trying to spread. They're trying to get people up in arms. You know what I mean? No, nobody asked for this. So why they doing it on purpose? And the fact that it's tied with this agenda crap only intensified the situation. Yeah, you know what? People are people are allowed to hate a movie without being labeled as such. Okay, people are just allowed to do that. So. If they don't like this play for whatever it is, it's just because you made because this is what you want. Now, when you do this, you don't have to focus on. Uh, I mean, it, whatever is good or not, you could always blame it. You could always blame it on this. I mean, this this person here, no one even knows who she is. I, I researched her. There's nothing really about her. I think she's new. I mean, I'm sure she got here because of her talent. <coughs> Sorry. I couldn't really say that with a straight face. Uh, let's just let's continue on with, with this ridiculous. Oh, another race bidder is I think the CNN. The CNN, what they got to say? Oh, uh, and all the actors they got the the blacks. Another thing that lib, white liberals love to do, like to group all blacks as one. Meanwhile, there's like several different kinds of white people. Yeah, yeah, we're not all in some kind of solidarity. Like it's time to start realizing that not one black person thinks for the rest of them. Okay, we're very different. Some are very stupid, actually. There's a very stupid, stupid group of white uh, black people out there that will never understand common sense. No matter what you tell them, they'll always do the same thing. They're the ones who work, work, walk every day and do a certain thing. They have no idea what is, why they do it. They just do it and they'll listen to anything someone tells them. If a celebrity says, hey, buddy, if, if you call us, like, these are the people that listen, to, that listen to celebrity and base their lives on them for some reason. If you got to call a celebrity wondering what or you listen to a celebrity and decide to check to take a step because of what he's doing that's just a, i don't know where to go with that one but here it is more than 800 black actors are denouncing ba uh, backlash aimed at actor francesca amewuda you know i i try to find out now i thought it was Ghanaian for some reason i don't know why it just sounds similar rivers who was cast to play uh, opposite tom in an Upcoming stage production, Romeo and Juliet in London West End. After Medua River and Meda River casting announcement online backlash was fierce, even prompting the Jamie Lloyd Company, which is behind the theater production, to issue a statement on social media earlier this month condemning a barrage of deplorable racial abuse online directed Thomas uh, towards a member of our community or company. While the, while the company statement did not mention Amadoua Rivers by name, an open letter in support of Amadoua Rivers is known for her work in serious bad education followed look he knew what he was doing okay now he's a hero because he came up to support it all these black actors i don't know who they are why we even think we care what they have to say 
it, you know, like the whole Hollywood crap is actually quite very, very, in a sense, uh, most discriminatory, like very discriminatory. And I think it's time we could actually sue them. I'm, I'm in favor of this lawsuit against Disney. And actually, but you know, you really should focus on what to sue them for. Like the best way to get them, really, because you know that every time they, uh, every single DI person they get is always woke. You know that. If if they were really about diversity, why isn't a black person that comes in? Why does he have to be woke? Why can't the black person be a conservative? There's a lot of black uh, black conservatives. There's a lot of black. There's a lot of uh, trans who are actually conservatives. There's also a lot of uh, you know um, gays and lesbians who are conservative. Why are they not always represented? Why are they always represented not uh, those the woke and why are they always forced to keep quiet? Because a few women that we know don't support their act, they kick them out. So there we go. That is discrimination. If we're to believe that woke is the type of religion. My thing is, look, my thing is, this thing right here should be recognized for what it is. It's a race-baiting crap, and no one should fall for it. This is nonsense. And I wish, and we should start shaming them for, for doing this obvious race-baiting. We should realize this as nothing more than, 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 an attempt, than a, a, a way to kind of stir up the flames and just cause more mayhem and just get people... You know, arguing back and forth. This is what they like to do. This is what white liberals do. They're not doing anybody any favor by putting money in their pocket. They're a bunch of cowards, okay, first of all. And I wish they just stayed away, away from blacks, okay? It's just, it's, it sucks that they see us as this low that they think they got to keep bringing up like that. That's painful enough as it is because we don't need them, okay? And all you Hollywood actors, just, just, just stay the hell down, man. We, we, don't, we don't care what you have to say. You're a bunch of actors, man. You're not real people, Okay? Here's a fun fact. Every single time a person, every time, every single time a person had a huge celebrity crush on somebody on the, and it, and it stalked the celebrity and it ended badly for the celebrity, you know, you wanna know why that was? It's because they met the person and the person did not fit the fantasy of what they had, uh, what they envisioned. It was a dis- complete disappointment. That is why anybody else who for some weird reason still believes that, like, look, if you like a celebrity, it should be. It should go as far as whatever it is that they produce. If it's music, then that's where it stops. Music. There's no need to go into this personal life and wondering what he does or wondering what he's wearing or what ring or what she's wearing or what ring she's wearing. If if you're in that, like if you're if you're the type of person that that is obsessed with what a celebrity is wearing that day, you man just. Lay your head down and give yourself a good beating because, man, I don't even want to know who you are. Don't, don't talk to me. You're sick and you seriously need help. Like, because we don't care about so that We shouldn't care, okay? All they are is just to come in here, act, and get the hell out. Simple as that. Anyway, this thing right here, obvious race baiting. Don't fall for it. Good night. And there you have it. A race baiting play. Anyways, look. Like this video uh, and please uh, join or subscribe and comment. (laughs) Have a good one.